Back, David. We saw his triumphant return to Wildcat Sports at the Revolution Rumble. Purple Haze back, back in action in Wildcat man. Sports. And the fans are happy to have him back. You know, a lot of history here. Wildcat Sports been gone for some time, but it's like he never left. You know, back the last time we saw Purple Haze, he was an oftentimes tag team partner uh, with one of the men he will be opponents with tonight, Jay Spade. They were a pretty impressive tag team back in the day, but obviously Jay Spade has uh, developed quite the kinship with Buku Dow and Slime Season, so Purple Haze uh, taking under his wing a newcomer here at Wildcat Sports in his own right, Raza Rayleigh, who made his debut at that same Rumble. Absolutely, and you know, we haven't seen a whole lot of Raza, but so far he's been impressive, he looks good in there. Well, Purple Haze and Raza Rayleigh going to be taking on one of the absolute best tag teams in Wildcat sports. And of course, we saw Slime Season a little bit earlier on tonight. They came for the save for Billy Paradise and Jude Taylor against Fly Daff. And you got to believe that Slime Season, after losing those tag team championships, are going to be eager to get the victory tonight and get back in the hunt for those tag team titles. Well, absolutely, Sammy. They have unfinished business with Fly Def, and they want to make sure they keep themselves in that tag team picture. So they got to get those wins under their belt to keep them in contendership. You know, I've been I've said for a long time that I don't think anybody at Wildcat knows how to have fun more than Buku Dow and uh, Jay Spade, but Purple Haze there giving them a bit of a run for their money. Hey, look, Slime Season is the most fun, but that was just a killer dance part that Purple Haze was don't like the jokes of uh, fool you, Buku Dao and Jay Spade, one of the most formidable tandems of Wildcat history. Buku Dao in his own right, a triple crown winner, a former revolution champion, a former heavyweight champion, and of course, the former tag team champion with his partner tonight, Jay Spade. And Buku Dao's gonna start things off with the enigma that is Raza Rayleigh. 
Raza with yeah. a clear height advantage on Nuku Dow. Nothing new for Dow, though. Man, Raza really calls himself the Holly Grove bandit. Tough upbringing. You know, he was in the city when Katrina happened. He had to uh, endure the hardships that so many of us did during that time. But he stuck with it, and he said that one of the things that got him through those times was his love of professional wrestling. And what a story would be for him to come here tonight here at Wildcat Sports on such a huge night where history has already been made. And that's Buku Dow, though. That's speed and quickness of the situation. Professional wrestling saves lives. It is one of the most expressive art forms out there. You can really channel a lot of energy into the sport. Oh, there's a big forearm from Raza, who gets separation from Buku Dow there. And Have to bring the aggression to Buku Dow. So we're gonna put away the Jack and Raza there. Yeah, a bit of an inexperience, but nothing uh, sloppy about that. Raza really knife edge chop takes Buku Dow down. Absolutely, and if Raza can continue like that, if he can, if he can stay not so distracted from Jay Spade, he'd be doing all right in here. Lots of confidence on the Holy Grove Bandit, but found nobody home there. You're not going to outquick Buku Dao with those lethal strikes that the Buku, that the situation is known for. Buku Dao going up to that top rope. And it's good to see Buku Dao bouncing back. I mean, last time we saw him, he was suffering a devastating a two-on-one attack from Brian Duff. And look at that. Right into the General Dao mission. Is that enough? Look, you gotta look out. Buku Dao is slimy and slippery, and he'll get that right on you if you're not careful. Yeah, this could have been all over just like that. The General Dao mission has put so many people away, and Razzarelli wants nothing to do with Buku, who tags in the returning Purple Haze. And I never thought I'd see the day. In comes Jay Spade now for slot season, and look at this matchup. Here we go. Purple Haze and Jay Spade back in the same ring together. Former partners squaring off against each other. Bit of a commit of my rivalry between these two. Always shocking to see who's going to be the best coming up in the business together. And great to see Purple Haze back here at Wildcat Sports. 13 years going on strong here. And a big short tackle puts Jay Spade down. Uh oh. Just like that, the wild card. Up. Oh, no. Not sure what Purple Haze was looking for there, but uh, he got a lot of contact on Jay Spade cover, and two count only. It's going to be interesting to see just how much Jay Spade and Luke Dow are going to be into this fight. Of course, they were absolutely decimated by Fly Def at the Revolution Rumble. Cover here from Spade, but there's a leg sweep. Now the cover of Purple Haze, back and forth we go. These two so evenly matched, and there you go. Well, you know, when you spend so much time around somebody, it's almost like you're inside their head, Sandy. It's like you can anticipate what they're going for before they even know what they're going to throw. And that's what we're seeing right now. Now these two have been thinking the same thing and suffering for it, but trying to shake off that strike. It was the most aggressive handshake I've ever seen. And the tag team division really heating up here at Wildcat. It seems like there's new tag teams coming out of the woodwork every day, and they're all looking for those prizes, the Wildcat Tag Team Championship. Yeah, Fly Def sits on top of that mount right now. It's the great oh. champion. and I'll boot right to the face from Purple Haze. Right into the cover here. Referee hooks a far leg. I got a two count only for Purple Haze. Purple Haze was one of the up and coming stars uh, before he simply vanished into obscurity before returning triumphantly at the Revolution Rumble. I mean, the first ever Rumble came down to Bestia Say 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 and Purple Haze, and I think he wants to pick up right where he left off, David. Absolutely. And you can see this team of Hayes and really already gelling well together. And now here comes Puka Dow trying to uh, save his partner here, and a lot of uh, just well, disarray here. Broken down here, the referee's gonna have to get control. And we got all four men in the ring. This is not a tornado tag team matchup. And right now, it's Raza Rayleigh in control. Oh, but maybe not for long. Tandem offense from the wild card in the situation. Stereo kicks. As we've seen so many times, side season, avoiding trouble, standing tall in the center of the ring. Slime season, feeling it here tonight. 
That's why they're one of the best tag teams in all the Wildcat sports. Now wait a minute. Warren J and Zach Zillo speak of the devil. The tag team champions. These two teams are intertwined. They cannot escape each other. Well, we know that uh, Slime Season came to the aid and got in the business of Fly Def earlier on tonight, and I guess Fly Def hasn't forgotten it. And here we go. Now, wait a minute. That's got to be a disqualification. Referee calling for the bell here. Don't start something you're not going to finish. If you want to come out and start something, you better expect this to happen. Just these vicious attitudes of fly death. I mean, these guys. Whoa, stereo spine buster! Stereo royal flushes! And as we've seen in the past with slime season and fly death, when they are in the ring, it could be any team's game at any given time, so evenly matched. Well, I think slime season has had enough of fly death. Flydeff wants to put people through tables. I think maybe Slime Season is going to try to get Flydeff a taste of their own medicine. Looking for a little payback. Look, this is what these guys need to do. You got to stop having fun. You got to start doing what's needed. The referee has lost complete control of this. This match has been thrown out. Slime Season going to give a Fly Def a taste of their own medicine. It was the rumble where Fly Def put Buku down through a table, and it looks like Slime Season's ready to put Zach Mason through a table. Not looking good for Zach Zilla right now. As Slime Season gets the table set. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, the table's been set up. Warren Hayes is still out on the outside. Uh-oh, there he is. Oh, here comes Warren Jay. Now, wait a minute. Just like at the Rumble, Warren Jay with the steel chair right to the spine. This time, the Buku down. Just like that, the proverbial tables have turned, and this is not good for Jay Spade. Now, wait a minute. Going up on the shoulders of Zach Mason. Oh, no. No, 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 don't do this. This is Buku down. Oh, my God, and now it's Jay Spade looking for a little payback, looking for a little redemption. Get them the hell out of the ring. First, it was Buku Dow, and then tonight it's Jay Spade. It looks like Slime Season has picked a fight with something, somebody they just can't hit, stand up there with. They're going to be put through more and more tables unless they get more serious. Jay Spade has not moved since uh, going through that table. Buku Dow down out on the outside. And just like at the Rumble, just like Flydeff tried to do the, to, to Drew Taylor and Billy Paradise early night, utter destruction in the wake and path of Fly Death. Again, Fly Def takes out Slime Season. This issue has gotten so personal between Fly Def and Slime Season. And security there trying to check on, on Jay Spade. 